Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how this person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Let's get right into this. Guardian Angel, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Guardians, and the Masters. Please protect me and divide my life. So I do this reading for Pisces. Show clear and honest messages for Pisces. Pisces, I keep seeing this High Priestess card, which is your energy you might be having a lot of like vivid dreams lately um or just getting downloads from the universe intuitively so pay attention to those um there it is again if you are coming back welcome back if you're new here welcome just so you're aware i do not read reversals so if a card comes out in the reverse i will flip it upright this is just how i've always read tarot just so you're aware so let's see uh, Spirit, how does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel? Okay, so we have the Five of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Interesting. You could be dealing with another water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio here. I feel like, Pisces, there's someone here who wishes they um, had treated you better in the past. I feel like they're looking at the past a lot, saying, you know, maybe I didn't give Pisces exactly what I should have given them. Um, but I do feel like they want a start a fresh start here with you um tell me about the five of cups please this is someone who thinks about this a lot more than i think you realize um tell me about the five of cups please the six of swords yeah someone wants to move to calmer waters here with you i feel like they think a lot about this yeah there's the six of cups six of cups usually for me indicates this is someone you have history with um and history doesn't have to mean from childhood it could be but it could be you know maybe you connected with someone at the beginning of summer and then you disconnected and you haven't spoken to them in a little while right um so take it as it resonates there's definitely someone here who wants to move to calmer waters here with you i feel like they're looking at the past saying like it's almost like they feel silly that's what i'm getting they feel silly because they're like it was so simple whatever i had to do i feel like you didn't even ask for a lot here pisces um so this person has regrets from what they did in the past here. But this Knight of Cups, I feel like this person's coming on in here. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. I feel like they um, want to show you here and want to be more open, more vulnerable with how they feel. Yeah, this is weighing heavy on them. Ten of Wands. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. This person's stressing out about this. I feel like they think about this a lot. It's really heavy on their mind um yeah they want to take a leap of faith towards you here so especially if this is someone who you've disconnected from and maybe you know there was this uh like a rough ending i'll put it as this person could think oh i don't even know if pisces is interested what if they reject me what if you know they've moved on or what have you um that this person is stressing about this i feel like they want to come in they want to talk to you they want to have a conversation with you they also want to show you i feel like they want to open up be more emotional with you let them know how they're let you know how they're feeling which could have been something that they didn't do in the past here so they want to take this leap of faith like this person feels like they just want to leave the past in the past they want to have a fresh start here with you um but it's a risk there's an aspect of risk here tell me about the fool I feel like it's because they don't know how you feel, um, but there could be something else here. And there's a couple cards coming out here. Yeah, they're okay. Sagittarius energy. Well, again, this person can't stop thinking about this with that nine of swords. Like they're, yeah, they, they're a little bit indecisive on whether or not to come forward. We will see their actions here, but this is someone who's not even sleeping at night, right? They're trying to balance this. They, this could even be someone who, um, you know, maybe told you something like, you know, I don't want commitment. I want to kind of date right now and just keep my options open and then they look back and be like why did I even do that like I kind of knew Pisces was it right from the jump but I messed that up right so I feel like this person's even confused by their own feelings here because I don't think they were expecting to feel like this there's this need for 
they're hoping that you'll have patience with them <laughs> with this situation because they can't stop thinking about this this is really heavy on their mind here um, but let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions will this person take towards Pisces look at that the two of cups they want union and the two of cups for me indicates soulmate guys so this is someone who um, you know you just feel drawn to there's a sense of familiarity when you meet soulmates and soulmates can be friends they can be family they can be co-workers right there's just a sense of I already know this person right and that's because on a soul level you do um, like I believe we we decide who we're gonna you know share this life with when we do come to earth so it's definitely some sort of soul contract here where this person definitely wants union here with you they want to come together here with you um, tell me more about this person's actions again I just see them opening up more about their feelings um, which is something I don't think that they did before there's the judgment card yeah they want to have a second chance here the card of second chance is coming out and there's the ace of swords wanting to have a conversation wanting to be truthful be open be honest because again I just keep feeling like this person wasn't before in whatever capacity um, I feel like their feelings for you were deeper than maybe they even realized but they I just keep getting this energy of they made you feel confused or like they made you feel like unsure of what they wanted and in a way they were unsure but I feel like you know and some people don't agree with this but sometimes it takes losing something to realize what you've lost right and of course people could be like I don't want to give them another chance or it's too late or what have you that's fine um, but this is just the energy that's coming through there's definitely someone here who wants another chance here um, tell me more about this person's actions Oh. It's interesting because when the Ten of Wands came out, I was like, I feel like this person could be blocked <laughs> um, and the Seven of Wands is coming out. So that could be the case. This person could be blocked right now. So reaching out to you could also be difficult. They don't even know how to get a hold of you here. Um, I feel like this. you're also getting Seven Sevens. So look out for, for Sevens. Um, the Moon. Interesting. I feel like this person... This could have been the type of person who got like defensive quick. Like... Um, if you did call them out on their BS, they kind of just immediately went into fight mode, um, which is a whole other video as to why people do that. But more Pisces energy coming up here. I feel like this person, they can't ignore their subconscious here. So even if they are blocked in some way and they can't DM you or reach out to you, they're gonna find a way, I feel. This could be, you see, if you're getting like random phone calls from random numbers, it could be this person on the other line trying to get a hold of you here. Um, I feel like this person is looking at the long term now and they're like, I want Pisces in my, like in my energy. They miss your, your energy being around you here. Um, death, Scorpio energy. Ooh. So transformation here, right? But there could be something else ending here. Perhaps this person was already in a connection or something like that. And there is, tell me about death card. Cause I did see that devil card. There could be something that, some sort of blockage that they're removing themselves from. Um, tell me about death, please. So heavy on the Scorpio and Pisces energy as well as Sagittarius so far. Um, and Aries. Whoa. Okay, so they're definitely coming in with uh, communication there. The Hermit. Yeah, this person's just thought a lot about what they want and what they don't want here. This person's taking some time out. So even if they did ghost here, it's like that sep I'm, like the separation period, whatever you said or whatever happened between the two of you really made this person think right Virgo energy here so this person's coming in with a lot of communication here they want another chance they want union here with you I feel like you could have even brought to light a lot of like subconscious patterns that this person did you know for instance if they were to get defensive which I feel like they did you'd point that out and be like why do you have to get so mad when I'm trying to talk to you about stuff and then you kind of planted that seed of then they kind of asked themselves like during this separation period like why do I get so mad like that Right, like you're, you actually like were almost like a catalyst here, Pisces, for them to do some deeper soul searching here. Um, but this person's coming in with lots of communication, so expect that. Yeah, there's the King of Cups here. What is this person's intentions with Pisces? What is this person's intentions? Thank you. We have the Chariot, Cancer energy. So lots of water energy coming out. I feel like this person, again, really wants to um, share their feelings. And we have the Hierophant, uh, higher level of commitment here, Taurus energy. Yeah, this person wants to move towards higher level of commitment here with you. This person could even be at a distance. They might have to travel to come see you. Um, 
There could be something about a car as well. Perhaps they got a new car since you've seen them or something about a car. But this person wants to move towards higher level of commitment here with you. You really made them think here, Pisces. I don't even think you realize. Um, again, you, you planted some seeds in this person's mind. And I don't think you realize how profound it actually was for them. Because I, th I feel like they, they could have acted like, again, I'm not really wanting commitment or I'm keeping my options open or what have you. But really, at the end of the day, like they kind of always knew it was you, but they didn't act on that. They didn't show you that. So this person wants some sort of commitment here with you. Um, anything else for this person's intentions, please? Thank you. The King of Cups, yeah. This person has a lot of feelings for you, Pisces. A lot of feelings for you. I feel like um, they want to start embracing those feelings more, right? Just feeling what they feel and going for it. But I will say with the King of Cups, which I always say, like, the waves are are a little bit bumpy here because emotions can feel really overwhelming for this person right so um that can result in things like like i said getting defensive or not having those deeper conversations because once those big emotions start to come up it's like mm, wait a second halt this is too much Right, so I feel like this person is trying to embody being more emotional, but also still kind of has a hard time communicating what they're trying to say. Um, is there anything else for this person's intentions? I just feel drawn to go to this other deck. Usually when that happens, there's cards on the board that need to come out again. Um, and there's the fool, yeah. This person wants to take a leap of faith towards you. They want to leave the past in the past. Six of swords again. They, they want to move to calmer waters here with you. They want a fresh start here with you, right? The fool is all about only bringing what you need, right? So you don't forget the things that you've learned, but you don't let them drag you down either. Don't let, don't, don't let them stop you from taking a, a risk into the, the unknown, basically, right? So this person wants to take this leap of faith towards you, more Aries energy. Let's see the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome between Pisces and this person? And again, Pisces, you could be like, I'm already with someone or I'm not interested. That's fine. Um, but wow, Pisces, the potential outcome looks really good here. <laughs> so if this was someone who you felt this drawn energy towards too, but they kind of brushed you off or made you feel like it wasn't that serious or it wasn't that deep for them look at that the ten of cups in this sun that is a beautiful outcome to get i'm getting chills all down my spine here pisces um the sun arguably the best card in the deck leo energy here a lot of light a lot of abundance a lot of warmth a lot of comfort um and the ten of cups here i mean that's just ideal for any sort of relationship right it's like unconditional love it's getting to that level of like i just genuinely care and love for you as another human and it's very reciprocal right it's like happily ever after here so i mean this is really good this is really really good you could even talk about like having a family together there i'm seeing those two little children kind of run around in the background you could already have children and you know become a blended family or perhaps this is someone you had children with and separated from right like take it as it resonates but there's a lot of happiness here there's a lot of joy um and a lot of emotion again i feel like this person is opening up a lot more we have the seven of cups and the five of cups they they there's still regret here there's still regret about the past here about the confusion about perhaps if there were other options involved, right? It's the exact same energy coming out for how they feel about you. So this per this is lingering, right? The Five of Cups is the card of depression. It can be just ruminating on the past. It can be just like thinking over and over again about the mistakes that were made, right? But that's what the fool's all about. The fool's all about, okay, let me learn from that and do different this time, right? So just be aware of this because I feel like there could be times where, and this could be you as well, but I feel like there's this energy where um, this person can kind of get down on themselves, right? And, and kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of feel, I mean, we all have those days where we feel kind of crummy, right? But I feel like it's a lot to do with like what happened between the two of you here. Um, but I mean, there's so much joy here. It's like, let's not, you know, I feel like the sun and this ten of cups like completely overpowers this five, five of cups and seven of cups. But I do feel like this person has these moments. Yeah. And they're, look at the, the devil. There's some sort of blockage here. Capricorn energy. Tell me about the devil. 
I just feel like it's this person's like, oh my, okay, we have the four of wands. So this person could be fearful of commitment, right? That could have been the issue before. Um, tell me about the devil, please. It, it, it could be an energy here too, what I'm also getting, that this person could have a hard time just living in the moment, right? Like like I said, the, the five of cups is like thinking about the past a lot. Like we're, it's about the here and now. It's about enjoying the now. But I mean, you got the card of anxiety and depression for this person coming through, so, which usually go hand in hand, right? If someone's experiencing one, they're usually experiencing the other. But I feel like this person could have a hard time like just being right in the moment, just enjoying what's happening right then and there. They're kind of always thinking about the past or maybe even the future, like what if this happens? So they can come off like a little bit like this Queen of Swords energy, like maybe they seem a little bit cold at times, right? But there's it's it's crazy that when it's good, it's so good. It's so good. That's how it feels. So it's like, why, why dampen this, this happiness, this joy, this abundance with each other? It's a blockage, right? We all have this in some way, shape or form, right? This can be um, your own mind getting in your way, like negative thinking, right? This could be substance abuse. This can be addiction. This can be, um, you know, and, and those come in all shapes or forms. I just feel like this person, what's coming through is that there's a, a difficulty in being present in the moment, right? Um, kind of always thinking about the past and the future instead of just being in the here and now. The, the movie uh, on Disney called Soul is such an amazing depiction of that. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. And if you know my channel, I'm like obsessed with Disney movies. So um, yeah, just be aware that, you know, this kind of energy and i feel like this is exactly what it is right like look at this person's mind like they feel overcome by this this blockage right like they're not in control anymore so it's like there's a need to become aware of that right like especially if it's like that defensiveness or that those emotions like overcoming them it's like okay wait a second i'm here right now why did i just do that instead of just like running off those emotions or running off old patterns right and it takes time um so just be aware of that. How will Pisces know who this person is? The Nine of Cups and the Four, or sorry, the Two of Swords. Yeah, this is someone that you have a lot of fun with. There's a lot of joy here, wish come true. But this person, like I said, could have been indecisive, right? There could, have, or you could have been indecisive about this person. Maybe if that blockage was really apparent to you in the past here. Um, someone where there was a hard decision to make and i feel like this person has realized what they truly want now there's been like a wake-up call here with that judgment card so there's there's a lot of joy here there's a lot of happiness like i said i feel like when it's good it's good um but there could have just been like a, a period of like what are we you know what's the next step here this person does want higher level of commitment here with you though um anything else for who this person could be there's heavy water coming through doesn't mean they have to be a water sign but i they could be like yourself but i also just feel like this is uh, this person really um stepping into that emotional side of themselves any other indicator for who this person could be for pisces they said nope that's it okay so let's get some cards from here for you messages for pisces please spirit Okay, we have career. So that could have even been why they made you feel confused before. Perhaps they chose their career over this connection, right? Um, look at that. We have happiness. And then we also have kangaroo. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. And then we have flowers. You got happiness again. So you got happiness twice here. And that does not surprise me, Pisces, with that sun and that ten of cups coming out because that is powerful energy, right? Oftentimes when we see the devil card, we're like, oh, that's the dark rain cloud over everything. It's ruining everything. But do not do not underestimate the power of like love and happiness and joy and deep soul connection here, which the soulmate card is coming out, right? Of course, we can all struggle with these those bad days you know ruminating on the past what have you but you know i truly believe we, our minds are so powerful we are powerful beings like this is the point of being here right being in the present enjoying this you got happiness back to back twice right so there is a lot of happiness here um and every relationship comes with obstacles right 
we have tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead right that's what i was saying like it's like there's there is an awareness of this blockage it's just like it takes some time to um remove it okay we have broken wishbone wish will not be granted and then we have harp great happiness you cannot make this up great happiness happiness happy you literally got three cards from these from this is one deck but i split it because there's it's too big for me to shuffle and you got all those happiness cards but i will pull on this broken wishbone i don't know what this is what is this broken wishbone i'm not getting anything intuitively page of pentacles tell me more about this broken wishbone the high priestess I feel like Pisces, you're, there's your energy. I feel like intuitively you might be hoping for this person to offer you something right now that's not going to happen right now. It's not that it's never going to happen. So for instance, like if the higher level of commitment you're wanting with this person is like engagement, for instance, I feel like that's a little bit further down the road for this person. Could be finance financially because, you know, they want to stabilize themselves in that way. It could just be that they want to... Um, you know just take their time with this it's not that it's not on their mind i feel like um intuitively i feel like you're there's something you've been kind of hoping for from this person so it might i, I don't it's not a no it's just a not yet that's what i'm getting with this um and pay attention to your dreams and any signs you're getting here but i can't believe that I, this has never happened in a reading before happiness happiness great happiness Three different cards giving you the exact same message. So there is a lot of joy here, for sure. Um, let's see if we get anything from here. Messages for Pisces, please. We have the chaser, fear of abandonment, chasing, codependency. So this could be the blockage, right? This could be you or them, or even like a little bit of both of you. Fear of abandonment, is this person gonna leave me? right um especially after what's already happened because i do feel like there's history here between the two of you um messages for pisces we have coffin new beginnings liberation reborn and transition tragic endings so definitely new beginnings here right there's that death card transformation here um, and then we have old school, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So there's that five of cups, right? Replaying things over and over in your mind, like instead of just being here in the now. And then we did get twin flames, yin yang imbalance, union and duality, complement, polar opposites. So you could feel like this is your twin flame. I wasn't getting that energy like heavily throughout this reading, but it doesn't outrule it. Because um, you did get the chaser as well, which is half of the twin flame connection. And then we got death. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. So the grow and transform is standing out the most to me. But like I said, there could be some of you who are like, I'm good on this, right? There is a lot of happiness here. Um, and I feel like you both feel it. But every, you know, everyone's journey is, is their own. We do have blowing kiss, unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection returned. So, I mean, there's that happiness and that reciprocal, you know, love again. Okay, messages for Pisces, please. Messages for Pisces, thank you. I feel cold and detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. So that's what I was saying. I feel like this person could struggle with tapping into their emotions. It's like their intention is to be more emotional here with you, right? This could, we have to remember that when people are like that, it's not because they meet us and they just can't do it with us. This is something that they've been struggling with most likely for their entire life, right? And this could be someone who, for instance, when they were emotional in the past, even as back as child far back as childhood don't cry right or be quiet like it's not that big of a deal like you're you're too sensitive right like those kinds of impactful statements if they're told over and over again they change how you show emotions or how you don't right so we just have to remember that i'm obviously like use your intuition like use your discernment um 
but I do feel like this person has much deeper emotions than they've even like let on to you. And then no one else makes me feel the way you do, but I'll take it to the grave before I tell you. So again, I just feel like this person could have a hard time saying it, right? That could be that because of that fear of abandonment. Is Pisces gonna leave me as soon as I open up? Um, I am keeping secrets from you and I hope you don't find out. I will pull a card on that. Messages for, whoa, whoa. I know that you may not feel for me as I feel for you. There's a bunch that fell here, but I'm going to shuffle again. Messages for Pisces. You and I were too young. So especially if you do have that history with this person. Rejecting you was protecting myself. I was being selfish. So again, this person, they were, they were just acting impulsively, like out of emotion. They weren't really thinking about it. I know that I crossed the line with you. Let me just pull on this. What is this I'm keeping secrets? I honestly feel like this is for how they feel about you, but what is this I'm keeping secrets, please, Spirit? Okay, that's too many. Just give me like one or two cards. Thank you. Okay, so we have death and we have a ten of swords. So definitely some sort of ending here. More Scorpio energy. The ten of swords can also represent, you know, like it's swords, which is all about the mind, right? Like old ways of thinking ending and new ways of thinking coming through. This person could just not open up about that. They could just not tell you something. Um, again, I feel like this person, yeah, look, the Knight of Cups, like this person wants to, that's exactly for how they feel about you, right? It's like, I don't want to talk about this transition that I'm going through, this transformation that's happening about how you Pisces have made me feel so different and made me see things so different because maybe it's just not something they just want to open up about, right? But they definitely want to come on in here towards you. Um, let's see, messages for Pisces, please. Thank you. We have this sun. Enjoy success and happiness. Pisces, you cannot make this up. You cannot make this up. You got the sun from the tarot. You got great happiness, happiness, happiness from this tea leaf deck. Now you're getting this from a completely new deck. Like there's a lot of joy and happiness here, Pisces. And I feel like there's just a, a, a strong message too of like staying in the moment, not worrying about the future and not ruminating on the past either and we all do it right but it's just about becoming aware that we're doing it and choosing to do different wow i've never had a reading like this pisces where it's just like very clear how happy this connection can actually make you and this other person of course there's obstacles but which relationship doesn't have obstacles right i feel like at the end of the day you've kind of found like this person who's willing to work through all of those things with you and there's there's definitely emotional blockages here and like mo within the mind but it doesn't mean that it can't work i feel the need to read um this this as well okay know that doors are opening for you follow up new projects ventures and ideas connect with the inner fire that is driving you forward the sun has long been associated with the energy of success. It's the most powerful planet in the solar system, solar referring to the sun. So of course, when the sun card appears in a reading, it will bring power, success, and light. It brightens up all connections, banishes darkness, brings a sense of youthfulness, and invites you to connect to the energy of joy so that you can be light in spirit and heart. Wow, beautiful Pisces. I love that. And you deserve it, Pisces. So let's see. Messages for Pisces, please. Oh, thank you. And we got if you believe. So, so, so powerful, right? Because our mind, like I said, we, we are powerful beings. You can have, be, do anything you want. Literally anything you want in this world. But if your mind is telling you you can't, then so be it, right? If you say you can, you can. If you say you can't, so be it. Um, so just be aware of thoughts. We got no, so if you're asking yourself a yes, no question, that could have been your answer. Oh. And then we got helpful people. So turn to those who you feel like you can, um, lean on them for support. It's okay to ask for help. I don't know who needed to hear that. Um, your dreams need a practical plan, Taurus energy. So whatever you're working on as well, Pisces, even if it's like in career, um, if you have like a side project going, keep going. 
and we have you are good enough virgo energy the color green was really standing out to me as well because um these two cards are green and now we're getting a lot of green here so you could be wearing green or something bright green could have just caught your eye um you could just be looking at the color green right now you could just been enjoying the color green the last little bit take it as it resonates we have by the book number 11 oh they said and one more okay one more for pisces please thank you and we have go the distance number 47 so both of these cards are in the desert right it could feel like it's been a long dry journey right but um you've got this is what i want to say keep going okay so we have now is the time for a real change in consciousness as you are incited to revolt challenge the structures that are limiting authentic progress it is not enough to rebel in small ways this is a call to revolution focus on what you really want to achieve regardless of whether it feels so far outside the box that the established order may reject it genius invention and transformation are rarely comfortable and less likely to be accepted by the mainstream it may be time for you to say no to the way of your group take a stand and make real changes it could be that the structure of your inner world is alerting you to the need for a complete overhaul this is a time for transformation so let go of the fear of change your intuition will lead you through the darkness there is no turning back now trust that light will dawn epiphanies will surely lead to miracles so thank you spirit another confirmation here pisces that there is some sort of blockage to overcome here i don't even know where that devil card went good it's covered right because it, there's so much joy here there's so much happiness coming it's like this there's so much power here to overcome whatever is happening and i feel like this applies to this connection but also just in in your life in general you might be making some big changes here pisces on how you look at things um, how you're navigating the world how you're navigating relationships so let's see do you feel as if you've been wandering in the desert now for ages and ages and nothing is happening when you conjure up the image of a desert you picture parched to lips sunburned skin and mirages but there is more to it than that amid the hot sands are creatures with resilient spirits tough skins and the willingness to burrow deep underground for water so that they may thrive this is the time of developing survival skills and resilience you are learning how to conserve your strength and in this temporary time of austerity it's wise to be selective about where you expend your energy listen to the call of your soul because it will never lead you astray this is an important time for letting go of what's not important beautiful pisces beautiful spirits got your back they're really like like cheering you on here like keep going there's transformation here there's there's big things happening here and there's so much joy and so much happiness coming towards you it just it feels so good to even read this energy so i'm excited for you pisces let's see okay so these could be initials of you of this person maybe numbers you've been seeing birth dates take it as it resonates but if something here doesn't resonate with you it doesn't mean that this wasn't your reading so we have j a s m i d g u and f okay pisces so i do hope something here resonated with you if it did please let me know in the comments down below please like share subscribe if you feel drawn to do so thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy love and light